Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's Jack with Stronghold Strength and Conditioning. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to use Voodoo Floss to improve your wrist mobility, grip strength, and take care of any of those wrist and forearm pains that you might be having from working out. But before we get into that, make sure that you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Ready? Here we go. We're back with another Voodoo Floss video. As I mentioned before, this stuff is some of my favorite stuff to work with as far as mobility tools go because of its multifaceted approach. We get a nice opportunity to work on joint mechanics, improving the function of the joint as it glides over itself. We get a nice self myofascial release out of it from the compression force of it. And we get a little bit of the benefits of blood flow restriction from it as well. So you'll see me using this stuff quite frequently. If you wanna get your hands on it, I've got the link down below where you can grab it from Rogue, that's the type that I use. So the point of today's session will be to take care of any pain that you're getting at your wrist from bench press, push-ups, or any pain that you're getting at the elbow as far as golfer's elbow, tennis elbow. We can take care of all those with one thing right here, that voodoo floss, with a couple moves and we won't have to worry about it. It is even beneficial, I will say, if you have carpal tunnel because we're gonna be restoring the sliding surfaces of our soft tissues through that wrist there. All right guys, so I have my two bands here. I'm gonna be wrapping both wrists and taking care of both at the same time. What I would recommend though, if you're a beginner, is only doing one wrist at a time and just taking turns alternating. We don't want to keep this on for much longer than five minutes, so that's about our top point. So I do have a timer right here. And we're going to start by wrapping that wrist. This is a harder one to do because it obviously is taking away one hand that you can use. But what you want to start with is use your longest finger to pin a corner of that band right in the middle of your palm there. And what I want to do is get my first anchor down right below the hand. So once I have that anchored, I can actually let go of the band and I'm gonna to continue to wrap the band halfway over itself with about six to eight on the tension scale here. So this should leave some lines in my arm when I'm done with it, okay? When you're first starting off, you can go a little bit lighter on your compression. As you get more comfortable with it, go ahead and incre increase that uh, compression and it'll further benefit that self myofascial release part of the soft tissue here. So once I kind of get up to the elbow, I don't want to cross over at this point. I'm going to fold that band in half into a hot dog, use a finger to peel up the last wrap from the bottom, and then use a couple other finger, fingers to tuck it under there. So I do have one wrap there. Now we're going to get the other going and we won't waste any time. As I've said before, once you get a little bit better with this stuff, it moves a little bit quicker as you're wrapping, which is why I recommend once you get one wrapped, if you're not used to it yet, you just stick with that arm and then you can switch after. Because we don't want you to waste too much time trying to tie yourself off and wrap if you're not quite there yet. All right, so we're tied off. I'm gonna start my clock here. The very first thing I want to do is simply spread those fingertips as much as possible and I'm going to be kneeling where I can lean over those wrists. So even my thumbs I want to keep extending here as much as I can. And I'm trying to get as far over the hands as possible toward those fingertips without letting the base of my palm peel up from the floor here. I'm just going to rock in and out of this a few times. I'm keeping my shoulder blades on my back. I'm actually flexing my stomach here. We always want to mobilize in good positions. Organized spinal column is a big key. And I can try different rocks in this position while I'm here circling a little bit. You might notice some different pools as you're going through the different angles. You might want to work those a little bit more if they seem to give you some more challenge or discomfort. All right, the very next one, I'm gonna flip those fingertips so they point back toward me. My thumbs are pointed out to the side and I'm just sitting back toward the heels. Of 
course, relaxing breath as much as possible, trying to get those tissues to kind of surrender here. You can play with bending your elbows a little bit toward your body. Once again, we want to avoid the base of the palm peeling up. So I'm trying to keep that down as much as possible as I add that bend. But if you're here at the straight position, that's fine. You might not even be straight to begin with. You might have to work on getting to that straight position if you're a little bit tight in these areas. 15 more seconds, I'm gonna hold in this position. All right, very good. The last one I'm gonna do from this is actually place the back of the hands down on the mat here. So my fingertips are pointed in toward one another. My shoulder blades are on my back. Stomach tight. Here I might add a little bit of a rock. I will say that you will want to do this on a mat or carpet. That will help. And I wouldn't do it on a hard floor. A little lean side to side. Fifteen more seconds and then we're going to switch one more position and we'll take that wrap off. I might roll up to my knuckles a little bit, back down to the back of the palm. All right, and my very last one here, I'm going to take those arms directly out to the side and I want to actively curl my hands back toward myself and then drop those fingers down. Now if I take my arms back behind me a little bit more, that's going to increase the floss here. Very good. All right, let's release those bands. What you should notice is you have those tiger stripes or those lines on your arms. The color of your arm from the upper arm to lower arm should be different. So you should see that increased blood flow immediately going into the forearm, the hand. If you look at my palms right now, the palms are bright pink from that increased blood flow. And that's really what we're looking for here is increased nutrient to the area that's injured as well as that self myofascial release and a little bit of that flossing of the joint so that we get a nice decompressive effect on the joint itself. If you guys like this video, make sure you let me know by clicking that like button down below and share it with a friend. You know they need it. Leave a comment below letting me know what you've been dealing with with those wrists and elbows and how I can help you. Or if you have any questions in general, drop those below as well. And if you have not already, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content like this. If you guys want something a little bit more tailored to you, make sure you take a moment and stop by the website. I'll have that link down below so you can go ahead and fill out that online coaching application or get your free hour and we'll get you headed in the right direction in no time. I want to thank you guys for watching today. I'll see you next time.